Hello, a very good evening. Today also I am here to speak a few minutes. Actually, I usually do not come in social media, which I never wanted. I do not want to come in public, but the situation is such. Now we in India are in a situation where we cannot go out. 21 days lockdown declared by the government due to the outbreak of coronavirus. So I thought maybe every day I speak a few words just to make aware about this deadly disease among our people. But there are so many people who requested me to speak on different topics at least few minutes every day as there is not much work now except chanting, meditation, reading books or doing some exercises walking, etc. So one day, <clears throat> somebody asked me, Venerable, what is the motto of your life? Then I just told, life is a journey, just keep walking. Definitely, life is a journey. From the time we are born, the journey started and this journey goes on, whether we like or we don't like, the journey has to go on, we cannot take a pause also, the time will not allow us to take even a pause till we reach the last destination, the last end, that is the death. So this journey is very important for us. How we take the journey? There are many people who are asking the questions about the meaning of life. The purpose of life and many theories, many philosophies have come up to give an answer to this kind of queries. My point is, if you want to go through all the philosophies on the purpose and the goal of life, the meaning of life, you may do that. But don't make your journey miserable. As we have to travel, we have to do the journey. Every moment of our journey should be joyful. Every step that we take, it should be enjoyable. It should be peaceful. Otherwise, what is the meaning or the purpose of all the things that we are doing if we are not able to enjoy the journey itself. Don't think so much about what is going to happen tomorrow to you. Tomorrow is tomorrow. Tomorrow hasn't come yet. 
and there is also no need to spend your time brooding over what had happened in the past past is gone gone is gone it will not come back definitely we have to learn from the past if there is something that we can learn definitely from bitter experiences or from uh, many unpleasant things that might happen in the past there may be occasions to learn when we keep our mind open eyes open we can learn lots of things from the past but we should not make ourselves miserable for the unwanted things that might have happened in the past if we spend our time thinking about the past so we are not living our life the life has to live at the present the present moment i am at the present moment but i am living in the past so i am not living my life if i am to live my life i have to live the present moment and my present moment has to be joyful and peaceful and this living a peaceful joyful life in every kind of situation needs a practice a habit formation let's be happy or feel happy habit whatever it may happen around you if you develop the habit of being happy joyful you will be happy there's no doubt definitely you have to keep one thing in mind that your mind has to be always positive because <coughs> this experience of being happy or joyful is the state of mind you cannot be happy just like that if you don't train your mind form a habit how to be happy so every day we have to train our mind there are different things that we can train our mind so that <coughs> we don't fall back to the negative pattern of our mind when we don't think anything negative of anything and anybody and when we think only the good things about oneself and others when we generate compassion and loving kindness and when we concentrate on our work at the present moment this kind of habit this kind of practice naturally leads to joy happiness no external stimuli can affect once you are well established to travel or to take journey with determination and this positive mindset so even in the face of the vicissitudes ups and downs in life you are not affected because you live your own life you don't live the life expected by others if you react so you are not living your own life you are being influenced by outside factors so when the vicissitudes and ups and downs come in our life 
no need to react just try to understand no defect and take appropriate step to respond to it being at the present moment and joyful mental state when mind is joyful when mind is serene and clear you'll find your decision will be correct decision whatever you do that will be correct and the result will be always good and positive so life is a journey we have to travel it make the journey a joyful and good and enjoy it till the last moment because life is precious don't miss it thank you very much